Hi everybody, welcome back. Once your baby's umbilical cord has fallen out, you can bathe your baby in water. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is buy a tub like this, an infant tub. This makes bathing your baby very, very easy. And you can find these tubs relatively inexpensively. So look into buying one of these tubs. The umbilical cord tends to fall out by the time your baby is about two weeks of age. So you might wanna buy one of these even before your baby's born. Okay, so here I am with my baby. I'm gonna show you how you can do this initial bath. Now my tub actually has a very clever thing that hooks around the sides of the tub and it's padded and it has netting here. So this is a really easy thing to use because as you begin the process of washing your baby, rinsing your baby with water, the water just sort of falls down into the bottom of the tub. So it's a really easy thing. So look into a tub with this as well. If you don't have this thing, you can place a towel along the bottom of the tub just so that your baby feels a little more cozy and secure and is sitting on a soft surface and not on a hard surface. The tub is also very good because your baby is not overwhelmed by the amount of space around him. It's much cozier and it's easier for you to, take, to have control over the way the baby is situated so it's much safer. Okay, so just as with the sponge bath, the key thing here is that you wanna have all the elements that you need in place and ready for you when you need them. So you're gonna to wanna to have a washcloth and you're gonna to wanna to have the towel into which you're going to wrap your baby at the end within arm's reach. And then what I do actually is I take two plastic kitchen bowls. I make sure that they're very clean and rinsed and I put water inside of them. In one of them, I have lukewarm water. In the other one, I also have lukewarm water. And in this bowl, I take my soap and you're gonna to wanna to use a very gentle soap that's safe for babies. I take my soap and I put a small amount of soap into the lukewarm water. And then I just go like this with my hand and incorporate the water into the soap so that it's nice and soapy, but it doesn't have to be so strong. It can be relatively diluted. Then using my washcloth, which is clean, I dip this into my soapy lukewarm water and I begin the process of washing my baby. I go between all the folds, holding my baby. You can do this um, on the floor in the baby's room or you can do it on the bathroom floor. I would tend not to do this on a raised surface. I know some people do that, but I, I don't think it's as safe. I think you can use this tub on the, on the floor. So I'm gonna go within all the folds and at times I actually put the washcloth aside and I just get in there with my fingers. Sometimes I use my hands to go between my baby's toes along the creases here in the feet, the bottom of the legs. This is a nice chubby baby. Make sure you cover the genital area if you have a girl. Important to keep that clean. And I'm working my way up the body, cleaning her hands, her fingers, getting within the folds of the upper arms of the neck using my hands. And milk can also get stuck behind the ears. So you wanna go behind the ears. You see how I do this, and I alternate hands all the while keeping one hand on my little baby, okay? Once the body's finished, I take my hand, I use the washcloth to take the soap off my hand, and I take handfuls of my clean water and I spoon it over my baby to make sure that all that soap is coming off. And this is how I do her front, like that. I'm gonna show you how to do her backside and then we're gonna move on and we're gonna do the head and we're gonna do the face. So in terms of the backside, if you're not comfortable flipping over your baby, which is totally normal, one good thing to do is just to sort of tilt your baby, tilt her, and carefully go around the backside like this, okay? You can do this on both sides, holding her, tilting her, make sure you get her back. And when it comes to the diaper area, you can just sort of lift her legs up a small bit and get in there and get her behind. So there you go. Rinsing, same principle. Spoonfuls of water, like this, with your hand, to just get that soap off your baby. Rinse her off carefully. Now we're gonna go on, and I'm gonna show you how to do her head. Now, as opposed to the sponge bath, it's actually less of a concern with washing your baby's head that the water trickle down the back of her head and not down the front of her head because you're no longer so worried about getting the umbilical cord wet, but it's still a nice idea in my view to just keep all the soap and everything that's going on here 
on this side and not to have it trickle down into your baby's face. So when it comes to washing the hair, I put my hand underneath my baby's neck and to give her support, okay? Then I take the same soapy water and I massage the head area like this, all the while giving support to the neck. I hope you guys can see all of this. Then while supporting the neck, I use my other hand and I go along like this, washing her neck, in the back, washing her head. My hand is back on the neck. I'm gonna just dab my hand onto my washcloth to keep it nice and clean, and I'm gonna spoon over my water. This is really an important thing, the taking the water and putting it in a bowl, because you wanna be very, very careful with temperature. Some people bathe their babies right in the sink and use the running water from the tap, but you have to be very careful. It's common for water to have sudden changes in temperature, and you really don't want your baby to be exposed to water that's too hot. So there I go, nice and rinsed off, okay? Now I'm gonna do the face. Now when it comes to the face, even at this stage, I still don't use soap. I just use water, and I use my hands. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna clean her forehead, I'm gonna clean her cheeks, a little bit on the chin. You can use a washcloth for this also. And now I'm gonna do her eyes. With the eyes, I use a gauze pad. And I put this out before the bath and I just use clean water and a gauze pad because you're gonna get those really, really gooky eyes. And you're gonna to wanna to get that stuff out, but you have to be very gentle. This is a repeated motion. You don't just whip it all off and it's gonna be thick and crusty. And you should not use wipes for this. They have chemicals, even if they're safe, you just wanna use water and a gauze pad. So you're gonna go from the inside of the, of the eye to the outside like this, very gently. Gentle, gentle pressure and do it repeatedly and gently and sooner or later all that gook is gonna come off. Nice and gentle. Okay, so I have my towel waiting right here and I am going to place my towel over my baby like this, okay? And then I'm gonna put one hand over my baby and with the, using the other hand, I'm going to wrap the rest of the towel underneath my baby like that so that she's nice and warm. There she goes. She's nice and clean. She's ready for her pajama and you know how to do your baby's bath.